part one of this series, Become an Expert with an E-File, is the unboxing introduction of this product with the master, Greg Solo. Gonna get into the details right now. Some of you guys out there might call it a drill, but it is not a drill. It is an electric file. And so, with that in mind, I am going to create a series of videos that focuses all of his attention on this wonderful tool. This series is all about the electric file. This is going to give you a full understanding on how to hold the handpiece, on how to put your bits in, what bits to use, how to put the right amount of pressure when you are filing. This is going to really give you guys insight on how to master the most important tool in your arsenal. All right, I'm excited, right? So let's just say you just got the brand new Young Nails e-file, right? So let's go ahead and unbox this and show you what you're getting. What you're going to notice when you get this is that all the machines now come with this really beautiful protective film, as you can see right here. And you're going to be able to put this onto the face, which is going to protect it from solvents, scarring the plastic on your electric file. Let's go ahead and unbox this. I'm gonna go ahead and take the unit out. We're gonna take out the cord. We're gonna take out the cradle. And we're going to take out the hand piece. All right, so let's just go ahead and set this unit up. What we're going to do is we're going to take our plug. What we want to be able to do, as you can see right here, we want to be able to plug this into the AC unit. All right, once we have it plugged in, this is going to plug right into your outlet. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our hand piece and this is going to plug right into motor. That's going to go right inside, just like this. So the first thing you're going to notice with this is that there is an on and off switch right here. Let's go ahead and fire that up. All right, so as you can see right now, the unit is sitting at zero RPMs. So the first thing you're going to notice is that when you dial it up to the speed that you want, you're going to push the button for on and push the button for off. You do not physically have to go behind the unit and turn it off every single time. So that is a really nice function. So I'm gonna dial it in to the speed of desire. You're going to turn it on, turn it off. For all of you guys out there that are right-handed, you're going to be working in Ford. And as you can see, it says F for Ford. For those of you guys who are left-handed, you're going to be working in reverse. We will get into more about forward and reverse depending on what dominant hand you are. But as a beginner, as someone who's learning how to use an electric file, if you are right-handed, you're going to start in forward. If you are left, you're going to work in reverse. When you are looking at your handpiece, you're going to notice immediately that there's two arrows, okay? In order for you to remove the chuck, right, that is in the collet. The collet is inside the handpiece. That's what holds the bit together. You have to turn this unit, not the front, the center unit. So as you can see right here, the arrows, I have to turn the unit until it clicks, right? You can physically hear it. So again, they're facing each other so that it's locked. I have to turn the unit until you physically feel a click. That is when it opens up. Now what I'm going to be able to do is slide the chuck out. You need to hold on to this piece. This is not a bit. You're not going to be able to work with this. This is only to keep your handpiece secure so that if you're traveling with it or you need to send it in for service, this is going to protect the collet from moving around. What we're going to do is we're going to place one of two essential bits that you are going to work with. The first bit is your mandrel with an arbor band. Okay, 
So once I have this on, I'm going to click it all the way until the arrows are actually facing each other, just like this. And then you're going to notice immediately, wow, right? as soon as you hold the handpiece, there's no vibration at all. How do you hold on to the handpiece? It's funny because a lot of my students that come through our one week program who have never had any experience with an electric file, it's, it's, it's quite entertaining to see how many people actually hold their handpiece like this, right, with just their fingers. This is not secure. Or they hold their handpiece way back here where the motor is, right? This again is not secure. You're not going to be able to do any filing if you're holding onto the handpiece like this, or you're actually holding onto the handpiece just like this. You see the crease of my hand right here, right? When I hold on to my pen, I'm actually resting my pen inside the crease of my hand so that I have stability when I'm actually writing. That is exactly how I'm going to hold on to my handpiece as well. I need to make sure that the handpiece is resting. You see this? I'm literally resting in the crease. That way I'm able to hold on to it with a secure grip. You'll notice that I'm actually able to hold on to this. That way I can keep my fingers free. That way when I'm actually holding on to something, right? Holding on to my own finger, I'm able to balance. If you're using your left hand, notice that I'm able to position my pinky on my hand and I'm actually able to use a feathering motion or I'm able to actually get around a certain area. This is great practice. If you're not, used to holding someone's hand in any position, again, don't worry about that. What I'm trying to get you used to is how to hold on to the handpiece and how to balance it by using your pinky, right? So you can feel the stability by actually positioning it on your own thumb, right? So that you can balance while you work, right? Because you're using a lot of your forearm as well as your wrist as you are using your electric file during the finishing process. Now that you understand how to hold on to your handpiece, let me show you how you're going to hold on to your client's hand while you are filing it into shape. When you're doing application, right, you're holding on to your customer's hand just like this. Okay. This is going to give me the ability to hold my hand out so that I can balance my fingers so that I'm actually working with acrylic all the way through. I'm able to balance my brush so that I'm not shaking or I'm bouncing. It's the same thing when you're actually holding on to your handpiece of your electric file. I went ahead and set my electric file for 5,000 RPMs. I'm going to turn my motor on. Right? I'm going to hold on to my electric file again with a really secure grip. Here's the thing. If you're holding on to your customer's finger like this, this is very hard to file. You're very constricted, right? I'm not able to move through the nail just like this. So what I wanna be able to do is I want to be able to use an overgrip position. I'm going to take my left hand and I'm literally going to come over the top. So the customer is not coming in dead straight. The customer is actually coming in at an angle, just like this. And this is going to allow me to have my thumb, again, on the side of the finger, right? I'm going to be able to position my pinky right here. And you're going to notice that I'm actually able to file the nail. At all I'm trying to do is get you guys used to the feeling of holding onto your electric file so that it feels secure. So you're going to notice again, right? I'm always going to focus on filing in one direction. I'm not gonna go side to side like this, right? If I'm working the cuticle area, I need to go around one direction. If I need to come in this direction, I'm going to start at the base of my barrel and I'm going to focus on one direction, right? If I need to work down the side, one direction. If I need to work right here, then what I can do is I can work in one direction, right? To smooth that surface out, or I can work in one direction coming this way. One of the things you're going to notice is my hand is out of the way. 
You're also going to notice that I have a lot of room to move around the finger, right? See this? From the front to the side, all the way up on top, I'm actually able to get around and position the handpiece so that it doesn't slip. The last thing you want is this to happen. If you were holding onto the hand like this while you were working and you go side to side, this is what could happen. It could literally go around the nail just like this, right? So if you're going around the nail and let's say you're working at 10,000 or 11,000 RPMs, right? As soon as it bounces around the nail, your customer's gonna be like, oh my gosh, what just happened? And you're gonna be super panicked and you're not gonna know what to do. So again, I'm gonna go back down to 5,000 RPMs. And in order for you to have confidence, you have to be able, again, to have a secure grip, just like this. And you have to be able, again, to work in one direction, okay? One direction. Now, I'm showing you with an arbor band because this is just like a hand file, right? I'm doing surface finishing in order to get this absolutely perfect. So I wanna be able to go over a couple things to ensure that you guys don't have fear when using your electric file. The machine can run all the way up to 30,000 RPMs. You're never going to run your machine at this speed, right? You are never going to work past 15,000 RPMs. That is going to be the maximum speed that you're going to work at. Throughout this series, I'm going to be showing you in detail what bits to use at the right RPMs so that you are going to be able to execute the technique depending on how you're going to shape the nail. You just have to remember the machine is not going to bite. The machine is not going to burn. You have to remember that if you're working at a safe speed, right? It is always going to be gentle, as you can see that I'm running the arbor band on the underside of my wrist, which is a very tender area. I'm not cutting. All I'm using is a very light tickling pressure. The machine isn't going to cut because I'm working at a safe speed. As long as you understand the proper speed, how to hold on to your electric file, how to balance while you are working, what bits to use, I promise you at the end of this series, you're not only gonna have a really good understanding on how to use the electric file, but you're probably going to be a nail ninja. If you enjoyed our video, please give us a like and also subscribe to our channel. Free education, tons of videos that you can watch. You can head into our insane library and get educated on nails right now.